Have you ever been scanning and heard a conversation only to realize it's not the one that you're trying to listen to? Maybe it's a police department or a fire department that's on the same frequency as the local police or fire department that you want to listen to. It's pretty frustrating, right? If you already don't know about it, there's a secret weapon inside your scanner to take care of all this, and it's called your PL code. PL stands for private line, and it's one of these Motorola terms that they've trademarked, and it's the same thing as CTCSS, or a continuous tone coded squelch, that's transmitted along with an analog voice carrier. Think of PL or CTCSS as a secret handshake between the transmitter and the receiver or a lock and key. When you set your scanner to listen to a specific PL code, it's essentially saying, hey, only open up and let me hear the audio if you detect this specific tone. If the tone that you're receiving isn't there, or if it's different, then don't open the squelch. In other words, without the right PL code, your radio stays silent even if there's a transmission being received. So let's just say your local fire department uses a specific frequency, but there's also another fire department on that exact same frequency. Now without PL codes, you would pick up both fire departments. But if one fire department uses say PL tone 123.0 and the other department uses a completely different PL code, you can program in your scanner to only open the squelch if it hears PL code 123.0. Suddenly, all of the chatter from that other department that you don't want to hear is muted. And another use for PL codes is when you have ducting or skip. And this is when you can receive a transmission that can be 100 or so miles away from where its intended reception actually is and where it originates from. And using PL tones can help eliminate all the reception from these long distance stations when conditions are right for longer than normal ranges and transmissions. Although this is probably one of the worst case scenarios for using PL code because wouldn't you want to know when the conditions are great for hearing things that you normally can't hear? Most of today's modern scanner radios make programming PL codes very straightforward. You typically find that option on your channel settings and often labeled CTCSS. Now you'll need to know the PL code that you want to program into the scanner radio, and you can normally find that next to the frequency on the radio reference database. Again, remember, PL codes are for analog FM transmissions only. Do you find programming PL codes helpful? Leave me a comment and let me know.